Um, it's time to share poems. Well, that Jimmy was. Jimmy is uh... not sleeping tonight, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can we can we not do? Can we you... shoot guy from that suitcase? Yuri. Fine, we'll go Yuri first. But next time Yay! we're not choosing Yuri first. We're going God in that suitcase. If you agree to do Yuri, we're not going Yuri next. After we. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've, you've written for today. Yuri <laughs> 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 shows up the poem with a surprise expression on her face. You like it? How <laughs> did you get to stop with the voice? <laughs> this one Hi. might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe <laughs> that's fine. This music's too it? happy for what just happened. <laughs> Did stop Jamie. With that voice. This game's bipolar. Deal with it. I did stop reading with that voice, by the way, please. Why? Stop. <laughs> just really you wanted me to do it. No, I, I didn't yeah, want to I stop. just wanted you to do it for a short time to see how it sounds like. You did a good job explaining. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to try giving you more imagery. You're invisible swan. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Ralph. Oh my god, that smile. Everything that you write is a treasure day. I can't unsee it, you know, like... How do I... You know rabbits? Yeah. Hold on. You know, you know yeah. the rabbits, they have them type of teeth. It kind of looks like that. But they have two, not one. Yeah. Yeah, but it kind of, you get what I mean though, right? It doesn't do what? It really doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> her, te her teeth just look weird to me. Oh wait, okay, maybe rabbits aren't weren't the best comparison. Um, everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to write uh, a poem about this feeling. It's bad, Ralph. I'm not being weird, right? I I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh, Real. there's no music. I have to sit up and go close to my screen to be able to read her handwriting for them. Jamie, well, close your doors right now. Guys, do you do you see a little bit of wet smudges on the paper? Oh. She's figuring herself, bro. You're alone. Wheel. A rotating wheel, twirling and. Turning. Oh, turning and ale. Axel. Grinding. Uh, ha what? Her handwriting is fucking awful. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's just hard to read. Grinding bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a fodder to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, Sayori's rope, a torn harness. What? What the <laughs> that? I lost where you were going. <laughs> stop, stop, wait. I'm actually, I'm gonna look for this, hold up. No, she, she, she it, it, it isn't in there. Oh, she was just joking? I was about to say, bro. <laughs> I literally lost where the fuck you was going at the for real. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the books. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cockles. Um, existence of co existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A pain <laughs> prayer written in time. Devouring snakes of human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of pony sticks. Experiment in gearbox, the sky of exponential. Exp ex exponential. Oh. Oops, I read it as the same one last Dude, time. Dude, I'm scared to continue. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Water gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of a planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks each second. A bolt ahead of holy stakes tied to it the existence of a dock, docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and an open and a, open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing 
the ship. Breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy sticks, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Oh my I'm goodness. Ah, ah, ah. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I am, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I write this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Wait, 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 wait. What? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it? She just said you dropped the pen, right? Yes. Okay, home. Yeah, she fucked yeah. herself with the pen and Yes! Jamie read my mind. She fingered herself and now she's excited because we touched the pen with her juices on it. She, that you touched the poem with her juices on it. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Did you keep the poem, right? <clears throat> Uh, I think we save Monica for last, yeah. We've always got to save Monica for last. It's just. Alright, that's it. Well, for the next one, let's save Yuri for last. Oh, I. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph McGee, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put You're it right. bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Oh, Why are you even in this club, Ralph? Oh, Honestly, I, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Oh, Not here. exclude each other even further, either more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please cool. go away. Okay. Damn, uh... Monica. Uh, yeah, Monica. Yes, Monica! <clears throat> Ralph, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. What? I don't, I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which what? shouldn't be a problem I in like itself. That. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Whoa. Isn't that kind of messed up? She nope. even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I no. think she just gets some kind of high from it. Yeah. I might mm. even It might even be, like, a sexual thing. Yeah, she's just Ugh, you guys are fucking sickening. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. No. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. No. Well, well then. I guess Monica must die. Yeah. To put it lightly, I guess I'm killing myself. I at least Dude. have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But mm -hmm. anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like <laughs> the way this turn one turned out, so I hope you do too. Cool. Save me. The colors, <laughs> they won't. Bright B-T-Full Keel R-S. Flash ng. Expand ng. Piercing. Red, green, blue. And endless. Keikofono of meaningless noise. Oh, fuck, I skipped a poem. You idiot. <sighs> Do you want me to keep reading it? Yeah, the keep noise. reading it. It won't stop. Be lented. Braiding with rim rims. <laughs> Screech. Ing. Piercing. Sign. Cuisine. Tangent. Cuisine! <laughs> Kid cuisine. Kid cuisine. <laughs> Like play, play ing, ak, chuck, board on the alternatable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. In less uh, PM of meaningless. Leader, 
Delete, delete her. Yeah. I almost forgot that. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. <laughs> I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's yeah. no point in explaining. Yeah. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Whoa, you never know just, when. Uh, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Yeah. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> you unlocked the special poem, unlocked would you like? Poem? Yes, we're reading it. Okay, oh, who's reading first? I got the same one again! So, mine <laughs> says, I, I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. It's cut, cut out, too, so... Jamie, what do you have? It you, says you nothing okay? is real. It says nothing is real. Yeah, you, but it's got okay? a bunch of black lines. I had to take a minute to try and figure I'm out... I'm sorry, Adrian, what'd you say? Are you okay? What do you mean? Dude, I heard you needed physical therapy, <gasps> bro. Shut the fuck up. Uh, okay, everyone. It, We're it, all done reading each other. for you guys as well? My screen's not what? red now. What? I'm We're all, not. We're all done reading each other. You're the scouting noises. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's problems, right? <laughs> scouting noises in my head. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Oh, well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything in good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a good sign of mine as well. I'm so- I'll have the scorching noise that over. Oh. I can't tell if it was the noises of someone cutting, stabbing themselves at guts and stuff, or if it was the noise of someone pleasuring themselves, and I'm really disturbed. Can we just, just keep reading? Oh, sorry, it was a black screen for me. Oh, normalness. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Ralph McGee joined, and we've started to get some club, club activities. But this isn't the time for us to be complacent, or become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is, only, is our only ch real chance to find more, you know? Uh, what's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, kill yourself! I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know that you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Ralph McGee? Ah. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Ralph to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monika, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Ralph McGee joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. That's and Ralph is even passionate much. about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one here. The only one here who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Uh. I mean, she's kind of right. Monica's clearly taking it back when I took his words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Gary and Ralph want to get more members too. Right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... <clears throat> no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? 
This club. Oh it's God, nothing. So it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang what out. Is that Jamie? I go to a silly bitch. Jamie, shut oh. the fuck up. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? That doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Ralph, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Bitches. Uh, <laughs> not really something I can be honest about. In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? <laughs> now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about The crown is paid more than a dime! <laughs> you don't understand at all, bitch! I just... I just want a place oh, that feels nice. Said bitch, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me! Just... Not taking anything away. No, Ralph McGee, you fucking idiot. It's even, not the no same. Exclamation mark. It won't be the same with the dirt. You wanna fucking die? You need to die. Fuck down, bro. <laughs> she it won't be the. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid ass club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. That's like he starts packing up the things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. That's Suki. And Suki ignores Yuri and walks right up to the front of the classroom. <laughs> this is bad. Dude, why I don't you do it? it? Well, you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious oh brat? Oh my goodness. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody <coughs> would cry if she killed herself. Oh. Guys, she's Ooh. bleeding. Oh god. And I should do my best to consider everyone's perspectives and make the right decision that's right for the club. Uh... What you know? What? Mm. What do you want to get out of this club? You okay with that? Yeah. What happened? What? Don't, don't worry, just keep reading. You repeat the same question as Monica. I just thought giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. If you club, to provide something that, you're, that you can't get away anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member, nice. each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each Her eyes members. bleeding. No. Oh, it is. The identity, the, the, the identity of a club as a well whole will change to each other. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Brain it's for a comfort stone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. <coughs> well, maybe we can all talk to Nasuki tomorrow. Hey, Yuri. Uh -huh. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. I want to do everything I can to do this. To, to fuck, to make this the best club ever, okay? Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Ralph McGee before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that.
It's important to me as president. Very looks a little troubled, but okay. she, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tilda. Monica, where's the Xerox? Phew, things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Ralph and Key, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. Things are going dark. I yeah, feel I kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you're being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. <laughs> there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I only know you can understand. So that's why you- Wait, not yet! No! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs>